Good morning, good morning. Even though it's not morning. Good morning, and welcome to another juice filled, delectable episode of the Jed and Jamie Show. Although occasionally I am known as Jeff, but more commonly as Jed. Too true, too true. Thank you. And I'm often known to get my love on, get my love on, get my love on, get my love on. Ladies, this man has a message for you. I want to get my love on with you. With you? What's a with you? Nothing. What's a with you? Good day. My name is Maurice Cock, and I am an actor. And I am Belvedere Bar. And I too am an actor. And together, we, we are Cockbag. Huzzah! You may ask, who are we? And why should you listen to us? As soon as we reveal the who, the why shall become apparent. The how will become obvious, the where, self-explanatory. And the what will truly present itself. <laughs> As you can see, standing before you are two highly trained theatre actors. Very well, may you gasp at our talents. Very well, may you desire to become an accomplished actor yourself. So now, we will take you through a week-by-week -week dissection of what it means to be an actor. Huzzah! For gentlemen and gentle ladies. You are now enrolled in Cockbag U. Let us take the Cockbag Pledge. Repeat after us. Invidious, perspiritus, Atticus, Ovidotomicus, Lavidianicus. Or, in Latin, be seen, be heard, be noticed, be seen again. Huzzah. Let us now take you, the known or through the steps of becoming an actor. We shall study the great actor that you see before you now. Mm. <laughs> but how do you, the poor, poor non-actor, begin your journey into the warm and inviting arms of the craft? Training! Much like a tradesman uses his tool, or a lady of the night uses her Madam Butterfly, if you will. Yes, um, one's body does become one's tool. And you see standing before you two massive tools. We will begin by emptying the stresses and emotional memory that our body carries. So just as we... Uh, I am alone. Dosed. Where am I? Toast. Lost in the toast. Toast. Will you be my friend? Toast. Man. Toast. Woman. Toast. I'm toast. Toast. Your toast. Toast. We are all toast. Toast. The best thing since itself. Hey, you know with the uh, superheroes, how they get their superpowers, like, um, say, Spider Man, like the spider comes, bites him, and something, yeah, 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 all yeah. that. And uh, the Hulk, you know, the gamma radiation. Flash with the lightning bolt. All that. Through, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other yeah. night, I had the microwave on, right? Yeah. I was microwaving, and my glasses, because I sometimes wear glasses, mm. were sitting on top of the microwave. Yeah. Now, when I put my glasses on later, I found they were completely ruined. I can't see a thing with them now. Absolutely destroyed them. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Here's a man, a macho man! Who loves to squirt his hot beef gravy up Yorkers only? Green his dusty white maggot into your behind. That's right, ladies, up Yorkers only, right up Yorkers only. Beck, please bash your squeezy cock crap together and welcome to the man of the snatch, Graham the Towboy Ash Abraham. 
Ashton Abraham. cough, Brian. It sure is, Marjorie. I bet you'd like to tell that cough to leave you alone, to tell that cough to go far away. And that's what the makers of this new cough medicine would like to tell you too. Fuck off. Fuck off? Fuck off. Yes, many housewives and doctors are curing those winter coughs and colds with the simple words, fuck off. <coughs> I could fuck off right now. Brian, why don't you just... Fuck off. Div tools. We will begin by emptying the stresses and emotional memory that our body carries. Soon, just as we purge after a big meal or a night out of the town, we actors too must purge our bodies. Firstly, begin by repeating the following sound. <coughs> I am Jenny Jenny Show. Occasionally on the Jed and Jamie Show, we're going to take to the streets. Interview the big guests of this week, we've got an absolute humdinger. An Australian legend of comedy. The winner of, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fleet Feet. Uh, do you prefer feet or foot? Greg. Greg's fine. That's exactly right. Weirdo. Uh, look, uh, I'm, I'm really glad to be here. Looking forward to the interview. But one thing I was wondering if it's OK with you guys. Lately, I've been doing all my interviews uh, strictly in the language of Klingon. Oh, OK. Uh, yeah. There's no problem with that. That's OK. I don't yeah. think any... No, it's OK. Cool. All right. All right. Cool. No worries. Let's do it. Hello, to crack. Tick, <laughs> Greycock, I get. Finish no leg. Finish no leg, finish. It's just no flick. I get. And I'm here to sell your child. Well, hell, you got a kid you don't need? Well, come on down to Claxton's Child World and hock them off to me. Kids for cash, children for change, infants for... for money. We got a whole shit world of celebrities looking for children to adopt. From Madonna's Color Wheel of Children to Brangelina's All You Can Eat Children of the World. We supply all the big stars. 
We got celebrities coming down here all the time. While we had Nicole Kidman, she got herself a white one and a brown one. Hell, she walked out of here with a block of top dick chocolate. Hee <laughs> hee. Hell, here comes a truckload of them right now. Well, back her in, boys. Them babies ain't gonna unload themselves. Where's my pitchfork? Well, rush on down right now. We're paying double for the next month only. Did you know Michael Jackson wanted 100,000 living children buried in his tomb? And we still gotta finish his order. Come on down. So come on down to Claxton's Child World, where I'll give you cash for your children, money for your monsters, shekels for your sons, dollars for your daughters, and rubles for your rugrats. I'm Claxton Buckley, and I endorse this product. The makers of Claxton Buckley, we're saying children are arms and arms and arms and arms and arms and arms and I'm Albert Alberto Albertson, and welcome to this week's episode of What the <laughs> Fuck Am I On About? Thank you, thank you. This week we have two teams battling it out to be WTF Captains of Winning from St Eskimo's Private Boys School. It's Eldrick Pampenson and Ivan No No No. Hello boys, are you ready and feeling good this week? Ready to figure out? Ready to figure out? What, what the fuck, fuck am I on about? Yeah! See, see. You said yes. Yes he did, yes he did. Now, Eldrick Pampenson. Your family are quite famous around your parts, and, and by parts, I mean genital region. And, of course, by genital region, I mean... Now, tell us about your mum. I believe your mum is your dad. No, no, my dad is my mum. Oh, yes, yes, yes. A common mistake, I'm sure. Not really. <laughs> Good. And Ivan, no, 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 no. That's an interesting name. What can you tell us about it? See? He said yes again. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to hearing about that later in the week. Probably on another show, or maybe in another life. Because we never know when we're going to die. Do we, ladies and gentlemen? No! That's right. But for now, let's introduce our other team aggressively pursuing the title of Captains of Winning for this week. All the way from where they're from, it's Ben Dover and Arthur Rimjob from the Marmud Ahmadinejad School of Grooming and Catering. Good morning, boys. Ready for a battle of wills, wits, and... Woo. 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 Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, let's play. What the fuck am I on about? <laughs> All right, our first question goes to St. Eskimos. In which country was a family of cross-dressing nuns robbed by a rival gang of otters on Christmas Day 1945-67, resulting in the Iraq War an innumerable amount of years later? What the fuck am I on about? <laughs> well, I think he was talking about the Prussian uprising. See? He said yes again, but I think he meant uh, Winston Churchill being killed in 1890-something. Ooh, you've only got 45 minutes left. See? And your time's up. Is the answer Lady Gaga? Audience? What the fuck am I on about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 18 aubergines for St. Eskimos. Now, Marmo Dilma Jads. You're all catering students, is that not right? That's right. So, it's not right? So you're not catering students? Yep. Right, right, right. Well, whoever you are, let's play... What, what the, the fuck, fuck am I on about? Yeah, all right. So, Mahmoud or Medina Jads, tell me this. If a train leaves a station at 10 a.m. while a tree in a forest 150.45 kilometers away falls, where am I having a wank? 
I'm just going to have a stab at it and say... Oh, goodness gracious fuck. It looks like we've reached a sudden death round. See? Yes. Yes. Well, it looks like they're dead. What are they? Yes! Join us tomorrow for a new lineup when we get ready to play again. What, what the, the fuck, fuck am I on about? about? Good night! Now please do as I do. Raise your hand to shoulder level. Uh, uh, Extend your index finger. Fuck you. Now bring them together. Fuck you. Fine. Fine. Wonderful. All right. Uh, Would you please welcome the house band, The Megans. Oh, well, that's very interesting. Yes, yes, no, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I'm sorry, Snare. I don't believe I was talking to you yet. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Keep quiet until I talk to you. Yes, as you were saying. Yes, Lo Tom, yes. Lo Tom, one more time. What? I'm a professional musician! You know, take that. You know, take that. Say something. Say something! Yeah, what he almost said. Firstly, begin by repeating the following sound. movements while repeating that very same sound. <laughs> Warmed up? Feeling good? Bizarre. One of my favorite warm-ups comes from the Mayan Uvaracta tribe. Herritsiket Ya! They believe that if you can swallow your character from a great height, it will be consumed at a deeper level. And observe. Let me place your character in front of you in this small cup of water. Uh, uh, Hamlet or Hannah Montana? Hmm. I think it's obvious. Uh, Hannah Montana. Mm. Uh, now, uh, what as I consume this character entirely? I am Maurice Cox. And I am Belvedere Bar. And remember, be seen, be heard, be noticed, be seen, seen again. again. Huzzah!
Well, dear, another fine meal. Dickie, if there's another woman in this world that can do what your mother does with a sausage, you marry her. Roger, I'm just passionate about family nutrition. And with a couple of sausages inside of me, I'm ready for anything. Well, Dickie, finish your dinner, you're excused. Oh, Ben, I might just stay at the table for a moment. I just need to let my dinner go down. I mean, digest. Sensible idea, son. You know, for me, nothing aids digestion better than a good pipe. I pack it full and then just suck, suck, suck on that pipe, and the tension just oozes out of my body. I think I'm right to leave the table now, Dad. Is there anything on the TV, boys? I've got a fresh, warm, sweet peach pie, just begging for a dollop of thick, rich cream. Where's the fire, son? I need to use the bathroom. Yes, it's working perfectly. I'm not so sure, mate. Some of them are looking at us. Munch on some grass. Why, why couldn't we have hired the horse costume? We've been over this, Derek. It's taken three months of planning to get here. You're not stuffing it up on me now. You do what the front end is supposed to do, and I'll take care of the rest. Moo, moo. 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 Excellent. Yes, yes, keep it up. Moo. Moo. Ah, oh, this time next week we'll be rolling in milk. No. Righty, Mr. Jeffrey Queensling, welcome to the show. Now, many people ask, what is wine? I'm not sure myself. Ah, uh, ah, yes. Makes you think, doesn't it? Makes you think. What? 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 What, what? What, what, does it? Does it? It does? Does it? It does? Does it? 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 Suppose it does. It's starting again, it's starting again! Take a bucket of that motherfucker.